The drone industry is booming and opportunities are taking off fast. But before you can get started cashing in, you need your remote pilot certificate. That's your golden ticket to flying legally for business. And I'm here to break it down step by step. Hey there, I'm Damon, also known as the Drone Boss, and I've helped over 30,000 drone pilots get their FAA 107. Now I know exactly how to help you turn your drone into dollars, as I've been making money with drones for over 30 years. So let's dive in. We've got 10 simple steps. Step one, are you eligible? Before we go any further, let's make sure that you qualify. So the FAA has three requirements. Number one, you must be at least 16 years of age. Number two, you must be able to read, write, and speak English. It's the international language of aviation. And number three, you must be mentally and physically fit to operate a drone safely. If you can't see or control your drone, you can't fly it. It's plain and simple. All right, so that's step one, eligibility. Step two, get your FAA tracking number, your FTN. Now, this is your pilot ID, and it's free. So you'll create an account on FAA site called IACRA. You're going to fill out your info and get a number, and that follows you throughout your drone career. So be sure to write it down and keep it safe. Now, IACRA is the Integrated Airman Certificate and Rating Application. This is a system that tracks all certified pilots, including drone pilots. You'll need your FTN number to schedule your test, apply for your license, and renew your license in the future. Now, I've got a complete guide with links, detailed instructions, and even screenshots to walk you through the whole process. So just check the description for uh, a link below. Okay, step three, study for your Part 107 exam. The FAA Part 107 exam, it's got 60 questions covering topics like airspace, regulations, know where you are and where you can and can't fly, weather and how it affects your drone, how wind, temperature, and storms impact flight, drone safety and maintenance, and keeping your drone in top shape. Also reading sectional charts, understanding aviation maps, emergency procedures, what to do when things go wrong. And most people struggle with airspace, sectional charts, and weather. But don't worry, I've trained over 30,000 people to pass their test with ease. And here's a pro tip for you. If you want a structured, no-fail approach, check out my book or training course, which are both in the description below. Okay, step four, register for the exam. The test is administered by PSI, an FAA-approved testing service. Now, the test currently costs $175, and it must be taken in person at an approved testing center. So you're going to go to FAAPSIexams.com. You're going to find a testing center near you and schedule your test. You're going to bring your FAA tracking number, your FTN, a government-issued ID, and be sure and arrive early. Now, here's a pro tip. Bring a magnifying glass to take your test. You'll be using an actual book, and some of the charts are difficult to see. Believe me, you'll thank me later. Also, just a note, you can't bring your smartphone or watch or any notes or anything in the exam room, so just be prepared. Now, I've got a free guide with links and detailed instructions and even screenshots to walk you through the whole booking your test process and what you need to know prior to taking your test. Okay, so step five, take the exam and pass. Okay, the cool thing about the test, it's a multiple choice test and kind of an open book test. But you do need to get a 70% or higher to pass. And that means answering at least 42 of the 60 questions correctly. And you pass. Now the test is timed. You have two hours, but most pilots finish in about 45 minutes. So you'll get to mark any questions that you're not 100% sure about, and you'll have plenty of time to go back and review those questions in detail. The good news is, is the minute you finish your test, you'll get your results immediately. So there's no long waits. And if you do happen to fail your test, you've got to wait 14 days before you can retake it, and you have to pay for the test again. So study smart and pass the first time. Now, I've got nine free study guides to help you um, to prepare and to take the test. So check the description for the links below. Okay, six, 
apply for your certificate. So after you pass your test, you're gonna have to go back to IACRA, log in, and uh, remember IACRA is where you got your FTN number, and you're gonna submit FAA form 8710-13. This tells the FAA that you passed your test and it kicks off the certification process. You'll need to enter your exam ID from your uh, test report and your personal details. The FAA will review your results and verify your eligibility. Then your application will be sent over to TSA for a background check. Now I have a free guide with links and detailed instructions and screenshots to walk you through this whole process so you can see that. And again, the link is in the description below. Okay, so step seven is the TSA background check. And this happens automatically upon submission of your test results to IACRA. Now the TSA is gonna conduct a quick security screening just to ensure that you're not a national security risk. Okay, most of these checks take 48 hours, but it could be longer um, if there's a backlog. So just keep that in mind. And remember, you don't need to do anything for this step except wait. All right, step eight, get your temporary license. So once you're approved, you can log back into IACRA and print your temporary remote pilot certificate. This temporary certificate is valid for 120 days so keep a copy with you whenever you fly. If an FAA or law enforcement officer asks, uh, this is what you need to show them, all right? Okay, step nine. You're gonna receive your permanent license. Your official FAA remote pilot certificate will arrive in the mail within six to eight weeks typically, unless there's a backlog. It's a plastic card with your name and FAA number on it. So be sure and keep this safe. You're now an official FAA certified drone pilot. All right, and in step 10, and the final step, is just to stay current. So every two years, you'll need to renew your uh, certification and to keep it valid. Um, now, the good news is there's no more in-person tests. The FAA now offers a free online testing uh, for your recurrent. So you'll just log into the FAA website, complete the training, and get recertified in literally minutes. And you just need to do that every couple of years. If you found any of this information helpful, please click the like button and share this video. Okay, so what's next? Well, you're now ready to legally launch your drone business and actually start making money. <laughs> now, if you want some expert guidance, I've created three different resources to help you pass your FAA 107. Number one is nine free guides that I mentioned. Number two is a complete study prep guide that you can pick up on Amazon for 30 bucks. Or if you're willing to pay the shipping, I'll send you a copy for free while supplies last. And number three, if you're like me and want more than just a book, I created a comprehensive video training course that I guarantee you'll pass your 107 the first time. And if you don't, not only will I refund what you paid for the video course, but I'll refund your test fee also. Remember, I've helped over 30,000 pilots pass their exam, and more importantly, build a profitable drone business. So be sure and click one of the links below. Take control of your future today. Until next time, you take care and fly safe.